do this? It's Friday, fool, and you need this tool. Welcome back to another glorious episode of It's Friday Fool, You Need This Tool. My name is Kyle Voss, and on Fridays, I bring you a tool. A tool that I use here in this shop, or that has been featured on this channel. Man, it's been a minute, huh fellas? But, I'm back, I'm back. I got something to bring you that excites me. So, you know, I kinda quit doing these Friday Fool videos because I just couldn't find anything that really excited me, excited me to bring you. So let me give you a little context around these tools and why I'm about to feature them. A couple months ago I went to WorkbenchCon in Atlanta. I uh, was there with WeldTables.com and this tool company had partnered with them in a booth. I never really heard about this company in the past. And when I got there I got to looking at some of the tools they had on display and started playing with them and I was very impressed. I was, uh, I want, I wanted some, let me put it like that. I wanted some of their tools. So the company, the company that makes these tools is Armor Tools and mainly they're just clamps. They do make some other tools as well. And these things are fantastic. All kinds of cool features that you don't really see anywhere else. I, mean, you, I guess you do see some of these in other places, but it's not a standard feature that you'd see from companies that make these kind of tools. Starting with the vice grip style clamps. So obviously these come in tons of different ranges from like this to bigger sizes to even bigger sizes. And then even the typical vice grip style they make those as well. See, they make those as well in every available size. The thing you'll notice about these though is there's no big adjustment knob on the back. You know, the ones where you gotta like, you're gonna clamp something, you gotta like move that thing until you get just the right. You're trying to do it, you need like three hands, three arms. Trying to hold it with one, hold your part with the other, and then gotta adjust this thing. And these don't have that. These are automatic, automatic, autumn, automatic adjusting. So I don't know how it works. I don't know the science behind it, but I'm guessing it has some kind of uh, tension rod spring, tension spring in here that is specified has a specified load. And so once that load is put out here on the jaws and that thing engages and then the rest of it is the locking mechanism. So what's cool about it is it automatically adjusts. So like there's nothing in there. When I clamp it, that's tight. But if I were to put something in there, same difference. I could automatically adjust and now it's tight. So it fills the void, it fills that void in there and then it, the rest of the clamping force is applied. If I had to guess, I would say that this thing has some sort of adjustment on it as well as far as how much clamping force is applied after you squeeze it. Uh, I don't know for a fact. It does have a little adjuster screw in here, so I'm assuming that's what that is. Very, very cool technology. Where it really comes in handy is on these body panels, body, body panel clamps. At least it's what I call them. The other thing that's cool is they actually come with these little plastic pieces on the ends that you can actually slide off. So it just comes off if you're doing metal, metal work. You just use the bare metal, you don't have to worry about melting the plastic. If you're doing woodwork, which is really where I think these guys have the biggest user base is in the woodworking side of things. But you can use them either way. And then they have this line of tools that is like some 
some dice, some needle nose with some cutters, some pliers with some cutters, and they're all, they all have a multiplier set up in here where you're getting twice the force that you would normally get out of a set that looks very similar to this. And I can kind of show you what I'm talking about. I got a penny, I slide this penny in here. And very easily, I can cut that penny in half with these bad boys. So, if you're in need of some extra clamping force, these are the ones for you. Get through that heavy gauge stuff that uh, normal, normal stuff won't get through. So all these things are rad, and I'm super excited to have them, but what I'm most excited about are these bad boys right here. Now you ask, what is that? Let's, uh, let's go over to the welding table, and I'll kind of show you, show you what these are. So if you've been around the channel for a little bit, you've seen where I basically made these uh, Bessie style clamps. These are made for these welding tables. Just got a five inch rod on the end and basically just slides into holes and it'll bind in there. As you try to tighten this up, this bottom piece binds in this hole. Allowing you to clamp stuff very quickly and unclamp it. So you just loosen the tension and then you can just pull this thing out. So basically if I want to clamp this piece here, just slide it in there, adjust this down, a couple twists and she's clamped. So pretty, pretty easy, pretty quick, right? Then you got these bad boys here. So basically the same kind of idea, 5 8 rod with a quick clamp up top, very similar to all the other things they make as far as the non-adjusting or the self-adjusting. The thing that's cool though is this rod can slide down in this table to whatever height that I need. So like if I want to clamp this block, boom, she's clamped. If I want to clamp this tube, boom, it's clamped. I mean, it's that fast. This thing is super fast. Use a couple of these bad boys if you wanted to. Next thing you know, you're ready to go to weld, whatever, whatever kind of fixture you have, these clamps are just gonna go right in place, snap them down, and you're ready to rock and roll. Thing is cool is, with these side plates that Weld Tables makes, you can mount this thing to a table. Now you have a vertical surface that you can basically clamp to. So this thing will go in, kind of set the distance however you need it, you clamp it down. Now you can hold something that's vertical, say a tube or a pipe. So not only can you hold it flat, you can hold it on the side. You can do whatever you need to do. You have full adjustment and you ain't wasting no time. All right guys, there you go, Armor Tools. I'll drop you some links in the description as I always do. You can go check this stuff out. Very cool, if you're looking for, you're looking for some new stuff or just some better stuff, go check out Armor Tools. As always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more this week. It's Friday, fool.